Hello everyone, thank you for taking the time to view this video. This is the Bookkeeping Master on YouTube. In this video and the videos following, I'm going to show you how to create a bookkeeping spreadsheet on Excel. So to record your income and expenditure and also create a profit and loss statement and balance sheet. Um, the balance sheet and the profit and loss statement will be updated automatically for you. So the final product will look something like this. So I'm going to start from scratch. I've opened a new Excel page up and I'm just deleting the old one. I had up the example, no need to save that. So first of all, I'm going to merge the cells to create blocks of two, like so, and then I'm going to drag that across the screen. I'm going over to about AH and that should be plenty of space of what I'm demonstrating today and I'm going down as far as about 70, 72 lines down and that should be plenty of space. You may need to make yours a lot smaller or a lot bigger than this depending on what business you have and the amount of transactions you do every month. So to start off with I'm going to put a border in by clicking format cells, clicking border and then placing the border at the bottom of the text like so OK and now our borders put in next I'm going to put the date and description this video just so you're aware is to set up the actual template and the video is following I will show you the equations that will need to be put in and how the spreadsheet works but just in this video I'm showing you how to set up the the template I'm now putting in any assets and liabilities the business may have so a bank account a savings account a petty cash account a loan account if the business has a loan and also a capital account you may only have one or two of these things or you may have a lot more assets and liabilities but just list them at the top any bank accounts and loan accounts credit cards that the business has and then I've got a box at the end which is the total after that box I'm putting in another border which will show on the right like so and I did that the same by going into format cells now I'm going to merge all the cells at the top block from A to P and I'm going to mark this income assets and liabilities because in this first section of the spreadsheet we will use this to record income and it will also show us the assets and liabilities of the company so that's the first half of the spreadsheet done or the template done and now I'm just putting in the opening balances these spreadsheets are per month you could do them per week or per you can even do them per day per quarter um, I'm doing this per month I'm now putting in date and description this second half of the spreadsheet will be for expenditure now I'm only going to put the assets down in the expenditure section which I will be making expenses from so that will be the bank account and the petty cash account you could put a company credit card down if there was a credit card or any other accounts that expenses are made from and then once again I'm putting another border in to mark this section out to the expenditure section now at the top here I'm just gonna type in expenditure I've merged the sales so we have the income assets and liabilities on one half the spreadsheet expenditure on the other now this last section I'm putting down 
more specifics of what the expenditure was. So products or resales, we could put fuel, insurance, stationery, wages, etc. We could go on forever the different expenditure codes that we use. But I think that will be enough for what I want to demonstrate in this video. I'm now going to mark the bottom of my template by putting the last day of the month and putting in closing balance. You may need a lot more room in your spreadsheet, but as this is a demonstration, the room I created there between the opening balances and the closing balances will suffice. and I'm marking the closing balances off by putting the border in, like so. So the spreadsheet's looking quite neat. And at the top here, I'm just going to mark this as expenditure codes. That's it for this video. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to put in equations. Um, and develop this spreadsheet further. Thank you so much for watching.